Let me give you some updates on the controller project. First, uh, let me show you orders going out, then I'll give you some updates on the website, and then maybe talk a little bit about some things I'm learning and different things I'm trying, and maybe then I'll answer a couple questions that I've been getting. Uh, stick around, let's, let's learn some stuff. Okay, first you can see I've got tons of orders going out. I mean, this is a huge pile of them. My two Prusa minis have been going nonstop, the poor things. Um, and I'm probably going to be adding some more printers to the stack. We'll talk about that a little later in the common questions. So if you're waiting for an order, you can see you're probably in line. Um, I may ship some of these with a single unit in them instead of doubles. Uh, I usually like to send two so that people have an extra one in case it breaks, but I may send some of these with a single unit just to get them something in their hands faster. They can always ask for a replacement or a replacement part if a part breaks. I'm always happy to provide that. Um, we'll see, it kind of depends on timing. All right, let's talk about the website. Uh, I think last update I did, I I said a new, up, uh, new website look was coming, and since then, Bryce, I believe it's Bryce Cronin, uh, he has delivered, and the website looks beautiful. Go check it out, thecontrollerproject.com. It looks gorgeous. Um, you know, scroll around, find some stuff, tell me what's wrong with it, and we'll fix it. I'm still using the ticket system in the back end that helps me track the status of jobs, though that's evolving a little bit, and I'll get into that um, some in the lessons I'm learning section up next. Uh, but overall, I love the way the website looks, I love the way it works, and I think it's going well. Along with the website, I've done some visual stuff like I finally broke down and ordered shipping boxes so things looked a little prettier. I made a little stamp so that I could stamp our logo on things, but I made the mistake of ordering glossy boxes so the stamp doesn't work on the glossy boxes. Um, so for now, I'm just printing the logo on the shipping label that I'm taping on there. Uh, but, you know, next time I order boxes, I'll get matte so I can stamp them with a cool stamp and I'll, you know, I'll have the logo on them and stuff. Kind of makes it feel a little bit more official and a little bit more nice, you know? Okay, lessons learned. Uh, I'm, I'm running into a lot of stuff. I'm learning a lot of things. Managing uh, volunteers. When I first said I was going to do volunteers, the method that I had was that I would assign people specific jobs, they would print it, and then ship it to people. Um, and at that time, a lot of people offered to print a bunch of stuff at once, and I said, no, thank you, because at that time, all of the orders were different. It was different stuff that we were doing. Um, since the contest, Akaki Kumari has put out single-hand controller kits for the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5, and the PlayStation 4, and they've gained a lot of notoriety, as they should, because they're beautiful, and I've had so many requests for those. I'm going to say 30 requests in the past uh, month or so. And so, since it's the same files over and over, and these files are very demanding on the printer, they're, they have to be precise, I've encountered a couple things. I'm going to change some stuff up a little bit. Um, I've run into some quality control issues where people receive a controller and it's not assembled or um, the parts don't move smoothly, um, you know, or are assembled incorrectly. And part of that's my fault. I don't, I don't train people well enough to assemble their stuff uh, before they send it. Sometimes I forget to tell them. Uh, so it's not their fault that they didn't assemble it. But, you know, if you're somebody with one hand gaming, it's really hard to assemble these kits. And then the printer being dialed in is a real problem. Um, you know, people are getting these kits and the buttons won't move fluidly and then it's not really helpful to them. It's just a really frustrating experience. Um, I've had volunteers that, ju that say, yeah, I'll take the job, and then they just disappear, and I get it, life gets in the way. I really have no ill will towards them, but I really would appreciate it if they would email me and just be like, hey, can't do this job, sorry, later. Um, that would be no problem at all, but that would allow me to then reassign it before the client waits weeks, and I'm like, left in the dark, you know? Um, so with all those things in mind, oh, another problem that I've had is, uh, you know, I've had a few people want me to be tech support for their printer. You know, if their printer is not dialed in enough to print this, they print it, it doesn't fit smoothly, it doesn't work right, they keep coming to me like, well, do I need to change this, do I need to change that? And while I'm happy to help, like, I can only put so much time into each one of these things, and I can't be your 3D printer tech support. At that point in time, if your printer isn't printing the single hand controller smoothly and it snaps together and works, Maybe you need to say, hey, 
it's just not working on my printer right now. I need to dial it in and seriously, no stress, no ill will at all towards you. I, I 3D print, I know how it goes. I've currently got four 3D printers that are not dialed in well enough to print this. Um, so no stress, but then I can assign it to someone else or do it. Um, so those are the things I'm learning. So let's move on to changes I'm making uh, to the way it works. Since we have such high demand for these single hand controllers, I'm gonna go ahead and let people print them in mass if they want and just send them to me. Um, as you can see in the footage earlier, I've got piles and piles that I'm printing and it's not enough. I could use two to three times as many and this is without me advertising. I've not advertised since maybe I posted once on, in January on Reddit that I do this. So this is just people coming in organically. Um, so if you want to 3D print controllers, if you're here in the States, it doesn't make any sense for you to do it in Europe and send it to me. Um, but if you want to print a pile in Europe, feel free to email me and then I'll know you have them and I can have you mail them out to people there. But here in the States, if you want to print these, print them out, assemble them, make sure they work right and then ship them to me and I will distribute them as fast as I can. Uh, you can contact me for emails or, go, or for details or go to the site and sign up for the newsletter. Um, that I forgot to mention earlier. There's a newsletter system now where I can email that out. Um, but those those files are Akaki Kumari's single hand rigs for all game systems, both hands. I need it all. I just need piles of them. Um, so that's the, the major change. Another change is I'm putting in a newsletter system so that I can email people regularly with updates. Um, I've had some people complain that they didn't know what was going on. Uh, I had a Patreon supporter who had no idea I was doing stuff and felt that maybe I was misusing their money. To be brutally honest, I haven't pulled any money out of Patreon yet. Um, uh, so far I've been paying for this and paying for this out of the donations from Joseph Prusa. Um, and uh, so I just want to open up communication a little more and show people more what's going on because there's constantly stuff being printed and shipped out. It just seems like it's not that exciting to say, hey, I've shipped out another set of PlayStation controllers every other day, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm working on that. Uh, I also have some more player profiles coming. I'm talking to three people right now about player profiles. That'll be fun. Some videos on how they game and what their setups are so you can learn about that. So those are the things that are changing right now. All right, time to address some frequently asked questions. Why do I, uh, I've had volunteers ask why I want them assembled and why I want two sets sent. I want them assembled because if you're gaming with one hand, that means you can only use one hand and that makes it really hard to assemble these. Um, also for quality control, if you go to assemble it and the parts don't fit or they don't move smoothly, you are better equipped to deal with that than the person on the other end who doesn't understand 3D printing and doesn't have experience. Um, so please assemble them. And then the duplicates are because sometimes you drop them and break them, or sometimes you snap them getting them on and off the controller. Um, so that's the answer to that question. Uh, a few people know that I have a belt printer. I have a CR30 from Creality, and they wonder why I don't use that or why I have printers sitting around not being used for this. Um, the belt printer is not dialed in well enough to do the Akaki Kumari kits. You kind of have to design things for a 45 degree printer for that to be efficient. Um, and those are not designed for that printer specifically. I could work on them, but frankly I have, I, I can get more by just adjusting my other printers to get them working instead. Um, which brings me to the other printers. They just need a little bit of dialing in. Maybe they're not perfectly accurate. Maybe they have a little bit too much elephant foot, um, but they're not producing the controllers correctly right now. Right now, the only printers that I can really trust to produce them over and over and over and over and over, in, day in, day out, are the Prusa Minis. Um, which brings me to another thing I've learned. If you're emptying your plates multiple times a day, just the oil from your fingers can make you have bed adhesion problems. And I used to clean my beds with alcohol, but Matt Stoltz over at Prusa Printers suggested uh, just hot water and dish soap. And I've found that, you know, about every other day I have to scrub them down with hot water and dish soap, and that works beautifully. The, everything sticks after that, you know, until my stupid greasy fingers 
get all over them again. Uh, so, you know, just use dish soap and hot water. It's fantastic on these removable PEI sheets. I'm going through incredible amounts of PLA. I found that glossy PLA is, is a little bit stickier on moving parts than matte PLA. I'm still testing this to make sure, but I think I'm going to move completely to matte PLA. Um, again, that's not like scientifically tested, and I'm still kind of, it may have just been the filament I was using is stickier, uh, but I'm going through a ton of it. I'm using Overture PLA because it's on Amazon, it's cheap, people can buy it for me off my wish list, and it has cardboard spools which uh, I can recycle. Um, and I'm going through, you know, I don't know, maybe a couple of week, couple spools. Well, a week might be an exaggeration. I got six spools about a month ago, and I've got two of those left. So maybe, yeah, but I've done some personal projects, too, and with some of them that I bought, so it's hard to judge. But I'm going through a ton. I'm going through a ton of PLA, um, so I could always use more of that. That's about it right now for updates. I want to thank the Patreon supporters. They really helped me out, uh, you know, in, in paying. Even though I haven't pulled that money out, I will be pulling that money out right now. I'm going to use that money that has been donated to the Patreon. I just bought a, a kid a PlayStation 4. Uh, I saw him posting. He seemed like he was in a really bad spot in life. No money, uh, some physical disabilities. Um, he was posting in the Disabled Gamers subreddit and uh, looking for a charity that did gaming stuff and I reached out to him and bought him a PlayStation 4 and it was just delivered yesterday. I wanted to wait till it was delivered before I said anything. Um, I will hide his name but I'll show here just so you know I actually bought it. I'll show the receipts and maybe the thank you from him. Um, but that's where that Patreon money is going to go and so far in the past three months I've raised almost enough to cover that so that's fantastic. That's beautiful. Y'all are helping people, and that's wonderful. Um, all right. Uh, if you need a controller, contact me. If you want to print controllers, contact me. If you want to do a video profile of how you game uh, with your you know, gaming setup that's custom, contact me. I would love to help you out on all of those. I'll see you next time.